Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was a magnitude 2.7 earthquake today there uh, by Woodbine, Kansas. You know, up until about 2015, earthquakes in Kansas were very rare. Four people reported feeling this earthquake. Here's the location of the felt reports. There was only four. And you can see uh, different rivers here. We got the Salmon River, Smoke Hill River. We got the uh, uh, Neo Shoop River. I'm sorry for pronouncing that wrong, etc. Um, down over here, uh, let's see if I can find it. We got Reno County. We got uh, Shenny Reservoir, um, the Hutchinson uh, location. Now, this was the area, Hutchinson, of the magnitude 4.5 earthquake of January 19th of this year. Hutchinson is a site for what's called Class 1 disposal well for the uh, um, oil and gas industry. Here's the location of the 2.7. The reason I pointed out uh, the different rivers is because fault lines, ancient fault lines, which seem to have been triggered by the oil and gas industry, fracking um, and disposal of the wells, um, these ancient fault lines follow along riverbeds. Here's the location of that uh, 2.7 right there. And down here in Oklahoma, we have seen all the effects of um, the boom with the oil oil and gas industry there in Oklahoma. Changing the settings for USGS, here we have US hazards, different locations which have high hazard sites. Yeah, Memphis, Nashville, Tennessee, C, St. Louis, um, Oklahoma. Um, but like I said, there was relatively hardly any earthquakes. They didn't even have earthquake drills in Kansas until recently. 2015 when the boom started was when these earthquakes started in Kansas. The only other place that ha has high semicity threat um, east of the Mississippi would be South Carolina and I've covered that and the different fault lines and uh, the rifts that go up through this area. Let me pull it over a little bit. Yeah, and we've been having earthquakes up here along um, the other rift system um, that extends all the way down here and is part of the new Madrid fault zone. There is an ancient fault line here in Kansas. I'm trying to pull this over for you. Um, that extends um, going west and it actually curves up around into South Dakota. Let me zoom in a little bit here. You know, USGS was formed originally. Um, so that they could use American tax dollars for research, finding new fields for the oil and gas industry. I would say that's a definite uh, conflict of interest. To the north of this earthquake in South Dakota, we got Sioux Falls and we got Pier. Because space is running out for the wells in Hutchinson County for the disposal of, of wastewater, they were talking about uh, starting the dumping of wastewater into the Arkansas River. Yeah, just what we need, all those chemicals going into a major river here in the United States. Here is the location of that 2.7. And I really haven't looked around too much. Uh, what do we got here? Yeah, it looks like some ancient... Um, uh, volcanic activity of sorts. Those living in this area, you can see we've got a farm here. And looks like a pond over here. Uh, those living in the area would know if there is uh, oil production going on. And yeah, maybe this person uh, did a report about feeling the earthquake. But if you did feel this earthquake, how long did it last? What did it sound like prior to the earthquake? Um, what direction did the motion come? Please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later.
Gabriel Schaubein.